Hi friends, I wanted to give you all a quick health update. Some of you may know, some of you may not, that I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis a few months ago. And so I wanted to give you a quick five minute update on how I'm doing, how it's going. I also started a program to sort of help my symptoms of this. So if you want more in-depth details about any specific part of this, I'm gonna make a few more videos that go into a little more detail, but the first time I tried to make this video, it was 20 minutes long, and that's just dumb. So we're gonna go again, five minutes, that's the goal. In February of this year, 2017, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. That is an autoimmune disease where for some reason, no one is quite sure why, my immune system has developed antibodies against and is attacking my thyroid. Um, this is not normal and no one is really 100% sure why it happens, but it has caused a variety of very exciting symptoms for me over the last few years. Like extreme fatigue, insomnia, weight gain, brain fog, acid reflux, hair loss, chronic back pain, these all came on pretty gradually over the last five years. It is important to know that the actual autoimmune disease itself cannot be cured. The symptoms can be treated through diet and lifestyle changes, but once that autoimmune gene is flipped on, it can't be switched off again. Once your body starts attacking itself, it just provides the opportunity for it to continue to do that. So this also puts me at a higher risk for developing additional autoimmune conditions in the future. But again, the symptoms can be managed through diet and lifestyle changes. So that is what I have started attempting to do. So what are you doing about this, Tiffany? That's a great question. I found myself a functional medicine doctor because no offense, but all of the conventional medicine doctors out there were pretty useless when it came to treating this. I have super switched up my diet. I am currently following what a lot of people are very familiar with as being the Whole30 diet, but this has a few more restrictions, like no nuts or seeds and no nightshade vegetables and stuff like that. This diet is called the AIP Paleo Diet, the Autoimmune Protocol Paleo Diet. Um, I have also started taking a lot of natural supplements, <laughs> um, a video about that later, and I am trying, trying very hard to reduce my stress levels and get enough sleep every night. And it's actually going pretty well. I was really busy at work for a couple of weeks and worked about 150 hours in two weeks and I don't think that helped my healing process at all. But my brain fog has cleared up a little bit. I'm still tired, the fatigue is my biggest issue, but that has also gotten a little bit better. Um, my hair is still falling out, but not as much, so I'll take that as a win. I have lost about four pounds so far on this diet. It's been about a month since I started this program with this new doctor. So I've lost about a pound a week, which is great. I lost about 17, 18 pounds earlier this year doing the Whole30 diet and staying gluten-free. So that was already huge for me, but I had gained about 30 a couple years ago in just a span of a couple months. So. Now, I've lost a total of 22, so I have about eight to go, but I'm not gonna be super strict about getting all the way back or anything like that, but that's where I'm at with that. My acid reflux has almost completely gone away, which is very exciting. I am definitely looking forward to getting my energy back, though. Um, it's been a pretty long time since I've done anything super active, just because I'm really, really scared of depleting the little bit of energy that I do have. So when I can get out and go hiking or swimming or weightlifting again, that will be a really, really exciting day. I will be posting additional videos about how I actually got my diagnosis, what my diet is, another one about supplements, um, maybe another one about some Hashi's resources. But if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm an open book. Thanks, friends. Um, some of you know, I'm not going to say, um, I'm not going to do it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not today. Uh, ooh, no ums, no ums. Like. It and lifestyle changes, I will not, that won't be me. That won't happen to me. Words, Tiffany. Good job. And I'm saying, um, over and over and over again. What? What, what am I doing with my hands? What is
is this? <laughs>